Do you suffer with anxiety? Well, here's a simple Qigong routine that you can do to help reduce that almost immediately. Hi, I'm Jeff Chand, acupuncturist, practitioner of traditional Chinese medicine and Qigong instructor. And anxiety is something that a lot of people experience. I think we've identified it now in modern day times and people are experiencing it because there's a lot of potential threats to our life. Uh, if we're watching the news or if we're just a busy person or if we're uh, well informed about world events, then we can really start to develop this feeling of unease and fear in our body. And when it starts to take over ourselves, then it can feel like we're out of control. Qigong practice is very helpful at reducing anxiety because it teaches you to be in a very calm state. Now this doesn't mean that you're restraining anxiety or you're, restra you're restraining your fears. It means you're teaching your body to be in that, that calm state. Just like if you've played a sport and you've, you've, uh, you've played it and you've put hours and hours and hours into it, it becomes part of your muscle memory. Well, if we practice being in an anxious state all the time, that becomes part of our muscle memory. So Qigong practice can really help to bring us back down into that calm but clear-minded state of being. But we need to practice it. So something I would encourage you to do is carefully frame anxiety in your own mind. Now, if you've been through some therapy, talk therapy or cognitive behavior therapy, you may know that uh, your combination of symptoms leads to this feeling of anxiety. Uh, but anxiety itself is a symptom and it's a combination of a few different things. So if you identify yourself as being an anxious person, really take a step back and think, well, what is it that I'm actually feeling? Well, I'm feeling a little bit of ch tightness in the chest or shortness of breath or uh, sweaty palms or uh, uh, gritting, gritting and grinding your teeth or uh, you have repetitive thoughts. So just focus in on the symptom that you're actually experiencing and say, I am experiencing that particular symptom rather than saying, oh, I'm an anxious person and I'm out of control. Because what Qigong will also teach you to do is gain control over all these symptoms that you're experiencing. So, okay, I feel a little bit of a funny feeling in my stomach. That's what I'm experiencing. I'm experiencing funny stomach feeling. Now you can stay much more in control and feel more empowered if you acknowledge what you're physically feeling and then choose to let go of it. So I'm going to share with you a simple breath control or breath practice that I'm sure you've probably heard of before called box breathing. It's basically an idea that you're breathing in, you're holding, you're breathing out, and then you're holding. But what we're going to do is hold an acupuncture point as well. Now this point is called Nei Guan, which means inner gate, and it's pericardium number six. It's located on the inside part of the wrist. It's pretty easy to find, and if you've ever experienced um, uh, motion sickness or seasickness, and you can get those bands that you uh, put on your hand, that's the exact same point that we're using. So the way you locate this point is you find the inside part of your wrist. So first, find the line, your wrist crease. So that's where when you bend your arm, your hand, wave, then you get this crease in your wrist. Now on the inside part of your wrist you'll feel two tendons. They're kind of stringy, there's two of them. You, if you bend and flex your wrist you can feel that. So now what you want to do is find your wrist crease, take three fingers and put it on your wrist crease. And right at the top of where your hand meets, that's where the acupuncture point is. Nei Guan. Nei means inner, Guan means gate. So what you want to do is push it with your thumb until you feel a sensation going up your arm. I find the easiest way to do this is to reach around with your thumb and push on this point. Now you can push quite forcefully and what you want to do is, uh, you don't want to hurt yourself or bruise yourself, but you really do want to feel a sensation. You may feel like a little bit of a numbness or a heaviness when you push on it. Now box breathing is a very simple breathing practice that uh, has actually gained a lot of popularity in the last couple of years. It's actually been studied scientifically and they've proven that there's uh, this ancient thousand year old uh, technique actually does have a positive effect on the brain, on the body, on the nervous system. So this is a very simple breath. You can do it if you're, if you're wound up, if you're calm, if you're going to sleep, if you're doing it uh, in the morning. It's a very, very easy breath. So what you do is you breathe in for a count of four, you hold your lungs full for a count of four, you breathe out for a count of four, and you hold your lungs empty for a count of four. So that's see, it's like a makes a box. Okay, so breathe in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, breathe out, two, 
three, four, hold, two, three, four, breathe in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, breathe out, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four. And that's the box breath. Now you can count as fast as you would like to. I think I was counting a little fast there, but I would probably count a little slower. But the idea is to have the same sort of rhythm, the same box. Um, over time, you might start off and you might be counting uh, relatively quickly, but then over time, your breath will be very slow, like breathe in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, breathe out, two, three, four, and hold, two, three, four. So now take your thumb and put it over the Neguan point. It doesn't matter which side, left or right, doesn't matter. Now just put your point, finger over the point and breathe in for a count of four. Breathe in, two, three, four, and hold your breath. Hold and push on the point, two, three, four, breathe out, relax the point, two, three, four, and hold your breath, push, two, three, four. Okay, so that's, and then repeat. That's the whole cycle of, uh, of the breath. Okay, so that's the acupuncture point, Nei Guan, or inner gate, and that's a breathing technique called box breathing. So when we put them two together, then we get this uh, Qigong breathing technique. Now, uh, let's go through uh, a few breath cycles. I won't count the whole time, but uh, just allow yourself the time to, to practice right now. Uh, if you practice on your own, that's even better. You can do this when you're feeling anxiety, but it's ideally good to do it when you're not feeling anxiety, because again, it teaches your body to be in that calm state. So I'll count you through three breath cycles, and then I'll just practice with you. You can do this standing or seated. I actually prefer standing because it engages your body a little bit more. Because sometimes when we're feeling anxious, we have this tightness and tension in the body and uh, standing kind of helps dissipate that. So stand up and stand in a way as if you're a strong, healthy, balanced, calm person. So if you're, you don't want to stand in a way that you're deflated like a little balloon or, or, or like you're too tense or, or too, uh, too tight like Superman or something. Um, you just want to stand in a way, okay, you're, you're engaged, you're, you're connected with the earth, you're connected with your nature. But right now in this beautiful field of, uh, I don't know if you can see them, they're called camas flowers. I think that's what they're called. They just look like little blue flowers, but I feel like this, the, the energy of nature around me, these beautiful oak trees. So you want to stand, okay, take in the energy, take in everything around you. And then you can, you can hold your hand down by your lower belly or wherever it's comfortable. Okay, so ready to practice. Okay, stand tall. Okay, and breathe in. Two, three, four. Hold Ne Guan. Two, three, four. Breathe out. Two, three, four. And hold Ne Guan. Two, three, four. Breathe in. Two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, breathe out, two, three, four, and hold, two, three, four, breathe in, hold, breathe out, and hold. Continue.
Breathe in, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Breathe out, two, three, four. And hold, two, three, four. Three more. Breathe in. Breathe out. Hold. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out, hold, last one, breathe in, hold, breathe out, and hold, big in breath, and breathe out. So as you can see, it's a very simple exercise that if you practice more and more, it, it develops that muscle memory so that you get better at it and better at being in that state of relaxation. I really highly encourage you to practice this if you're experiencing any bit of anxiety. I also have a 16 minute full Qigong routine linked here and I'll have the link in the description below, that if you enjoyed this Qigong practice, I think it would be really, really good to add in that 16-minute routine. Ideally, do the routine first, and then do this um, anxiety breath to uh, help uh, really get a, an, an overall sense of balance. If you've liked this content, come visit us in the community. Here we have many online uh, Qigong routines and health topics that we discuss and we go into more detail into some of these uh, practices. Thanks for watching. If you've liked this video, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know below in the comment section what you experienced. And uh, thanks for watching.